everyone and welcome back to a very very rainy stormy summer day here on Mossley Farm and we're just gonna kind of casually come down here and start cooking up some copper and iron ingots and we're gonna do that because today my friends I think it is a good day to perhaps see if we can get a silo built which you guys have been telling me to do forever so whenever we clear this grass away and that's actually fun fact one of the reasons I haven't cleared very much of this grass just yet yay look at that we got our copper bars already sweet but one of the reasons I haven't really been working on clearing this grass out of the way and kind of like um, making the garden a little tidier and personally I happen to love it when it's a little bit more disorganized and organic like this full of all sorts of empty spots and full of just places where um, the grass is growing in I think it looks really cool even though it drives many of you like straight up a wall so sorry about that um, but ooh, yay, there's some clay but the other reason I've been holding back on like getting all of the grass cut down not only do I like the look of it, but also I want to have a silo because when you have a silo, when you go ahead and clear out more of the grass areas, then you actually get to save that grass as hay, which is what we need to feed our animals. So let's come up and see how our chickens are doing. Oh, geez, Louise, all that lightning and thunder. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today, ladies? Are you guys doing good? Sweet Petey, you're doing good? All right, how you doing? Foxglove's doing good. All right, we got a little egg right here. And how's Zinnia? Zinnia's doing good. I actually really want another chicken. I wonder if we should get another chicken today. I'm not sure about that. I think I might wait till we have a silo. There we go. So now we have some hay for the chickens. Unfortunately, we have absolutely nothing in the hopper because you have to build the silo and uh, cut the grass in order to fill it. And um, I just, I don't know if it's responsible to get more adorable chickens until we manage to get the silo built. So we'll look into building the silo today. Looks like our tappers are still working away. And it's another rainy day. We should go see if it's somebody. Ooh, this little guy scared off four crows. Good job, little thing. Good job. We should also go see. Oh my gosh, this is a gold pepper. That is really cool. Man, and our little preserves jar is still working away over there. I really wanted to have more of the preserves jars up and going. But I don't have enough wood, so we might cut down some things today. Um, well, but I do kind of want to go mining because we need to get back up to 5,000 gold as soon as possible so that we are able to update the mine. Um, let's see, those are basic retaining soils. But yeah, we want to get more um, gold so we can have 5,000 gold and upgrade our axe. I mean, did I say upgrade the mine? What the heck? I meant the axe to a... Uh, a tr 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 iron axe. Oh, and that's the transmute. I forgot about that. <gasps> you know what? We should spend some time in the mines because I totally forgot that you can actually take copper bars and transmute them into iron bars, which is super useful. And we need to go into the mines anyway so that we can try to find a crab. So we can like hit all of those little crab creatures that wear the rock on top of them. We need to go chase them down and, and like tap on them with the pick to see if they're going to give me a crab. Because I did get a crab from one of them once so we'll have to look into that also i want to go into town and i want to hopefully get some more flowers i want to get some poppy flowers going i want to get some um blueberries i want to get some corn down here because corn apparently lasts multiple seasons so yeah we've got a lot to do today all right well i saved this hot pepper because i wanted to give it away as a gift i'm gonna sell the golden hot pepper I wish our preserve jars worked faster, but they're just not working faster. Um, and I think, there we go. So we need five copper bars, 10 clay, and I think it's like a hundred stone in order to build a silo. So we'll go ahead and see if that'll work. And otherwise, I have some things to give away as gifts. We should go see if it's somebody's birthday. And I kind of just want to go to the mines today. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's what we might do. Let's go see about buying some more seeds. Um, how many seeds? Let's see, I want some poppy seeds because not only are poppy seeds apparently one of Penny's favorite things because she loved it when we gave her a poppy seed, but I also forgot we need a poppy doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, for the chef's bundle. So I need to go get a poppy for the chef's bundle and then the dye bundle. See, that's sunflowers. I haven't seen sunflowers and I would think that you would grow sunflowers during the summer. But I've not seen it. Oh yeah, and I need to buy hay anyway to put over at Marnie's, um, Marnie's little thing. So, hmm, so much to do. Oak resin, wine, pomegranate. <gasps> Speaking of pomegranates, let's go see if our bats have given us any more fruit. That was so much fun when we walked in there. We had a cherry! I think personally, oh, noodle doodles! Noodle doodles, there you are. What you doing sleeping out here in the rain? Well, hopefully the rain will fill your bowl up because I don't happen to have the, um, nifty... <gasps> Look at our fruit bats! They have given us a wild plum now! 
like really high quality stuff. This is so cool. Okay, so plum, plum, plum. Darn, so plum is not one of the things needed for the artisan bundle, unfortunately. And I kind of flinched when the, the, the bats just chirped just then because I'm so used to that sound, meaning that we're about to be attacked by something. All right, so is the wild plum good for anything? Yes, it is good for the fall forging bundle. Oh my gosh, we'll have to drop that off on our way over there. That is so awesome. Go, my little fruit bats, go. They're actually really useful because you can get all of those fruits that are like out of season. Super nifty. But yeah, I want to pick up some poppies. want to pick up some corn, um, maybe some blueberries. We still should have enough time in the season to be able to grow a lot of the different crops that summer has to offer. So no wild things up there. Oh gosh. Lightning and thunder everywhere. All right, let's just keep moving. Keep moving. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's go dig around in the trash. Uh, darn, there's nothing here, but is somebody's birthday coming up? Oh, it's Alex's birthday. Oh, what should I give him? Like, a, I don't think he'd like a flower. Um, what would Alex like? An egg? I'm going to give him an egg. <laughs> And just cross my fingers that Alex would appreciate an egg. Now I need to find him. Summer seeds available. Hey, Pierre. How are you doing today? Most people stay indoors on days like this. It's not good for business. Hang in there, Pierre. Hang in there. Have I given you... Yep, you've had all the gifts I can give you for now. So sorry about that. Um, Let's see. 11 days to mature. 13 days to mature. Continue to produce after harvest. I've just planted a ton of melons. Um, I kind of want more peppers. Because the peppers are super popular. Leia loves the peppers. They're pretty easy to grow. They come up pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm probably going to get more peppers, to be honest. So let's go ahead. Maybe four more peppers. Uh, well, let's do six more peppers. And then I definitely need some more poppies. And they're so expensive. Okay, um, maybe just like four poppies. I didn't really want to spend a ton of my money today, but that's okay. Oh, I did want a grass starter, though, to start over by my trees. And then corn seeds. Okay, here we go. Um, I want at least six. So there's six. Ah, oh, you guys, I think this is another one of those days we're going to be spending all our money again. Uh, and there's nine. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be worth it. All right. Let's scooch this down here and let's just put these out of the way. All right. And let's see, is Alex in his house? Oh, let's dig in their trash. Nothing. Nothing. Is Alex here? Hey, it's Alex. This is not good weather for sports. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Do you want a, a egg? You remembered my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. No problem. Oh, well, I can always lift weights inside. You know, he really has a pretty good personality for somebody who lives with cranky, cranky pants George here. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. Um, do I have anything I could offer him? An egg, maybe? I wonder if he'd like my egg. People seem to like my chicken eggs. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Oh, I'm so sorry, Evelyn. In the old days, George would have scampered right up there and fixed it. Sigh. Oh, Evelyn. Okay, I think she's having the worst day. She gets the egg. How nice. Thank you, dear. I think that was just like a subdued how nice, though. All right, so is Alex super happy with us? Oh, wow. Okay, Alex really likes this now because we remembered his birthday. <laughs> Look at this! We're really getting to be friends with a ton of people in town. That makes me super happy. Do I have a flower on me? I do not. So unfortunately, I don't have a flower to offer to Penny. I think Penny actually... <gasps> she does live here! The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of... On the metal... Metal... Metal? <laughs> on the metal roof of our trailer. It's... It's soothing, though. Penny, where do you sleep? I think this is Penny's area. Oh, I think Pam sleeps over here. Howdy, kid. Staying dry? Well, that's really cool. So we can come in and say hi to them. I feel bad I don't have any presents to give them right now, but such is life. Such is life. All right. So let's wiggle up and put our little... Oh, you know what? Let's go into the clinic. I never say hello to the people in the clinic. I really should. All right. Hey, there's the doctor. Hey, doctor. Hi, Siri. Er, read anything interesting in the library lately? <laughs> well, um, I'll see you around then. Oh, look, you put headphones in. Oh, no, this is stethoscope. That's so funny. Okay, so he had his stethoscope in. Totally fine. See you later, Harvey. All right. So what to do first? Drop off the seeds. Go up here. Let's go up here. Then let's see if we can start Robin building the silo. Anything in there? Anything in here? Nope. Darn. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right. 
So we'll drop off the little plum, the wild plum. I love my fruit bats. That was a good choice for, for my heart, if not for practicality, but that's okay. To me, these kinds of games, like this type of world, being part of it, dun dun dun, is not about like doing the best and having the most like bang for your buck. It's about just experiencing things, just immersing yourself and having fun. All right, so let's keep moving. Nothing in here, nothing in these bushes. And let's go see if we can get a silo started. And then maybe we'll just go straight to the mines? Maybe. I don't see any little any little worms out. Oh, hey, Myro, there you are. Hey, have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Uh, I wish I did. I need to get more chickens. You know what? That's it. I'm going to get another chicken when I have money and now that I'm dirt poor again so that I have more eggs. Maru! <laughs> so I have more eggs to give everybody because people seem to like my eggs. The rain doesn't uh, stop me from getting a job done. Although soggy wood isn't a, isn't a joy to work with. All right. So actually, have I given Leia all the gifts she can have for the week? Let's see. Where is she? I have not. So I'm going to hold on to this pepper for dear life, because that means I need to give her one. And I need to find Abigail somewhere, wherever Abigail happens to be, and give her presents because I want to see her little guinea pig, David. I was thinking about David the guinea pig quite a lot the, like the other night. I was actually telling my boyfriend about it. I was like, Abigail has a guinea pig named David and I need to see it. Greetings, stay inside if you want to keep warm. Totally will, Demetrius. Hope you are doing well in your laboratory today. And let's just keep moving. All right. Oh wait, no, Silo, what am I doing? <laughs> I talked to Robin. Yes, I need something built, Robin. Okay, I need to, well, what's in the shop? Okay, we can buy wooden stone, basic windows, blue sea, I, you know what? We probably need some money to get the Silo, don't we? I'm gonna feel really shy now because it's gonna turn out that we sort of needed some money so that we would be able to uh, get the silo built. And I sort of spent all of our money. I kind of don't even have, can I sell her some things? <laughs> Robin, please. I can sell her some things. I can sell her the clay I got. No, I need... Robin, I've made horrible life decisions. Quick, I need more clay. I'm going to dig up your front yard in desperate, desperate need for more clay. Robin, don't close your shop yet. I'm going to run into the mines. I'm going to grab like two things. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I've done this. I need that clay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, quick, you guys, quick. Let's get down here. Where's the quickest area? Let's just go down to the deepest level really fast. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I just wanted to pick something up really quickly. It doesn't look like there's anything quick to pick up over here. Okay, let's move it. Um, what if I come up here? All right, all right. I just need something really fast. Come on. You guys, I don't think we're getting the silo built today. I feel so silly right now. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Well. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a shiny rock. Oh, it has a topaz in it, though. I wonder if that would be enough. I wonder if I can go convince her if I hurry. If I hurry, maybe I can make up for my terrible mistakes. All right, let's get out of here. All right, leave the mine. Leave the mine. Maybe this topaz will be enough? Perhaps? I could sell her some of my, my stones because I think I just need, like, a hundred stones in order to build the silo. So if I sort my stones like this and then try selling them to her. Run, little legs, this is why I need a horse. With a horse, I'd be able to get this done. Oh my gosh, I really did like just dig up their yard. Oh dear. All right, Robin, stay right there, stay right there. Okay, shop, I'm going to sell you these. <gasps> I can't believe it. We have just enough and she don't. She won't buy the topaz. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Construct farm building. I cannot believe we just like did that. Okay, yes, all right. And we are going to build this silo, which will allow us to store the grass we cut. And it's just going to be 100 gold that we got by selling her a bunch of stones. Stones, clay, and copper bar. All right, let's find a good spot to put this. I don't think we actually have to like run up to the silo to see what's inside. So I kind of want to put it way far away from the rest of our area. 
if possible, so that I don't have to look at it all the time. And it looks like this is... Uh, is this really where I have to put it? Really? I would have to have a clear area? For real? It has to go back here? Well, that's not a terrible place, I guess. All right, so that's where our silo is going to go. Okay, I'll start working on your new silo first thing in the morning. Yay! Thank you, Robin! You guys, I can't believe we did that. I can't believe we managed to pull it off like at the very last second like that. I am pretty proud of us. All right, so now that that is done and we are definitely having a silo built, even though <laughs> we had to sell some stones for silos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's come back in and we are going to continue our quest to try to find where the heck those little like crab dudes are. So would it be down here? I don't know. I don't feel like I've seen a lot of the crab guys down here. I feel like they're on other levels. So let's keep moving. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of those little bug guys. Can I get all of them at once though? Because that would be a nice lot of bug meat. Alright, they're starting to transform. So, well, actually, I wonder... Woo! There we go! Earth, Crystal, and Geode. I want to get those guys more often. That was pretty much worth it. Alright, and you know, it's, it's okay to come back now and then and just end up digging through like stuff like fiber Because we can use that to make more scarecrows. Here's like a quartz piece. I wonder if Abigail likes quartz I might try giving her some quartz and we can see if we can appeal to her that way Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get further down on this level because look at this That big giant boulder is blocking my way and I don't want to use my good bomb just for that. So let's try coming back up. Where on earth am I going to find the highest concentration? Let's try over here. Of the little crab guys. So that's our goal. We need these rocks to start like wiggling their way towards us. Um, I think maybe 15 would be a better guess. Little crab guys. Hello. Little crab guys. Yeah, this is still like baby levels where everything is safe and not that bad. Except you. You can be kind of bad. Hey, get out of here. Oh, and there's another one of those guys. Come here. Yeah, da, 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 da. All right. Oh, yes. Another earth crystal. We actually need those earth crystals too. There we go. Yeah, this is where we were really starting to find things last time. So it might be worth it to kind of come along from the 10 to 15 range. And just see what we happen to stumble on. I can't wait till we upgrade our pickaxe. That's going to be so awesome. You know, when we have money. Oh, and we need to go home. We need to go home so we can do all of our planting. I almost forgot about that. Oh, there's an earth crystal. Just hanging out on the ground. That's the way to do it. All right, let's come along here. Back you go, little slimes. Back you go. I'm pretty sure I can do something with slimes. I, like the slime. I just can't remember what. All right. Hey, nope, nope, nope. There you go. Oh, I love mining. It's so cool down here. All right, let's get this. There we go. Our nice little copper pieces. Do any more of those little, like, earthy guys want to come up? Yeah, come here, buddy. Come try to bite me. Yeah, I got you, you evil little mole. Sweet cherry bomb. I like those little guys. I used to be, like, terrified of them, but they're actually amazing. Because <laughs> you can get a lot of stuff from them. There we go. Oh, and there's even some algae. What? We are lucky ducks. All right, we've got some earth crystals. I need to make difficult choices now. Mixed seeds, which I love. Fiber. What it drop? Uh, I guess that little bit of algae isn't worth it, but still. All right. Nope. Yeah, I hear you. I don't need any of your nonsense. Thank you. Um. Nope. Nope. There we go. And now we can go down another level. Wow, look at this. We are really like gathering a lot of things. I, I, you know, normally it's not really worth it to like go back to easier levels in games, but this is really not that bad. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead, get rid of the sap, get rid of the stones. Well, no, cause now we're gonna be completely out of stones. Um, the fiber, cause we can always get more fiber. There we go. And now we have some normal quartz. I'm not finding any of the little crab guys though. So maybe they're like only, maybe they're only at um, easier levels, I guess. Hmm. All right, well, let's keep moving. See if we find any down here or any of the little, I'm gonna bite your toes guys. Nope. 
Not over here. Not down here. So we're searching the caves for the crabs, and I'm not seeing them just yet, my friends. So let's get out of here. Hi, little guy. Is there anything useful? No, I didn't mean to hit you with my hoe. I was trying to like dig in the dirt. All right, I don't think there's anything useful in there. Let's look over here. That's probably that's probably all we're really gonna see for now, to be honest. So hmm hmm. Let's try five. Just to see what's hiding up here. Lots and lots of slimes. There's so many little slimes. And nope, these are just normal rocks. All right, well, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled to see if we can end up with one of those really cool little crab guys. But for now, I think it's time we head back to the mines. Or back to the out of the mines. <laughs> and head back home is what I meant to say. And then we've got to plant all of the awesome things we've got. Also, we need to get some more copper ore. <gasps> it's a berry! It's a berry! How do I pick up the berry? Ah, uh, I have too many things. I love having geodes though, that is so fun. Um, stone. I have a lot of coal actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this grape. Because who knows, we might be able to use that grape for something. It might be a high quality grape. It might be useful just to have food. Because I do have quite a bit of coal. Even though you don't really want to waste your coal, but that's okay. Alright, let's go make sure that all of my chickens are safely tucked away where they should be. Oh my goodness, what's this? And we have a thing! We have a thing, you guys! Okay, we're gonna have to look at what the jam says, or what the jam is, in just a moment here. But let's go ahead, and what do we have to sell? Um, the fancier quartz, the fancier earth crystals. Um, let's see, the slime, I guess? Uh, the grape? Ugh, I really don't want to sell the grape, but I need money. <laughs> I have once again managed to corner myself in at needing lots of money. So here we go. I'm just going to have to sell all of these things. Not that earth crystal, though. And that quartz. There we go. All right. So these are growing. And let's go ahead and get the poppies. These are all the plants. And then we have a couple, like, spare seeds. Mm -hmm. The fun little random seeds as usual. I'm going to put it there. Maybe one right there. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple poppies. And I guess here's a couple poppies. Mm -hmm. And then here is our little cluster. There we go. Yeah, a little cluster mm -hmm. of those guys. And then... Dunk, 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 dunk. I need to put uh, some more corn down. How did I, how did I end up... I didn't plan my corn correctly somehow. Well... Maybe right there? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm going to drive people nuts. I'm going to drive myself nuts with how disorganized everything is. All right. And I want the grass to start growing kind of over here and just start spreading as time goes on. So that makes me pretty happy. All right. Oh, and then the preserve thing. All right. Let's run over and see what it is. Let's see what it is. I'm so excited. All right. It's grape jelly. And so I'm going to sell that and we'll see how much it's worth. And do I have anything that I could put in? I mean, I guess I could try... I'm going to go ahead and try putting this pepper in. And we're going to see what it turns into. It turns into something pickled. So grape jelly. Well, I kind of want to sell it. We're going to sell it just... Well, should we sell it this time? I always get so caught up on whether or not we should. So this is just plain jelly. Does that mean like any kind of jelly counts? Hmm. But it's going to be a long time before we can complete the artisan bundle anyway. So let's go ahead and sell it for now. All right, you guys. Well, let's see how much money we made real quick. And I still need to make another chest so that we can actually store all of our geodes and all of our awesome gemstones separately. So we can coo over our beautiful jade and coo over all of our little pieces of gold and the frozen tears that we save and collect. Um, and then we're going to put some of these things away and maybe this away. Probably should have taken those cherry bombs with me. Let's go to sleep, you guys. All right. No, rocks, get out of my, get out of my hands. All right, let's go to sleep and see how much money we made. Do do do. The answer is not a lot. <laughs> but we, wow, look at the grape jelly. 210 gold for the grape jelly. So it is worth it because here's a normal grape. We put in a normal grape. It was worth 80 gold on its own. The grape jelly was worth 210 gold. So that's definitely a huge improvement. Even if you do have to wait a few days for the jelly to kind of be created. The hot pepper gold quality was worth 66 gold. So we'll have to remember that. And let's come over here. The best thing that we sold was definitely the earth crystal. 
the pair of earth crystals. Not bad, not bad. Noted that quartz doesn't really sell for a lot, so I might as well just keep it for presents. Topaz, not bad. And then a bunch of mug meat, which actually wasn't so bad considering how quickly we can collect so much of it. Well, all right, you guys. So there we go. It's been an amazing day. And guess what? Tomorrow we are going to be able to go and get our new watering can. Huzzah! This will be awesome. This will be so awesome. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.